is your customers today too, I guess. My name is Alto. I'm manager of this ramen place. I inherited this place from my parents, so it means a lot to me, and I've been polishing the taste, but... The number of customers have been decreasing lately, and the business is hard. I guess I'll close up for the day. Let's hope I'll have customers tomorrow. God, Buddha, Jesus, charismatic God, anyone please help me. Seriously. <sighs> Wait. What? What happened? The person who appeared was clearly not some god or Buddha, but a woman wearing worn out clothes. And is she pregnant? Hmm, I wonder what happened. It's not good to stick noses in people's business, but... I can't let this one go. Hey, lady, come over here and show your face. Ah! Don't go up to her like a gangster, Puni! I... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, a lot of things happened today and I don't have a single cent on me. So, if you want to jack someone, I think you should look elsewhere. What? What are you talking about? Oh, my bad, my bad. I don't look friendly, so I probably scared you. I'm Alto, and I run the ramen place right there. And you are... Oh, um, I'm Kanade. Oh, okay. Well, come on by. I'll make you a ramen as an apology for scaring you. What? No, I feel bad. Don't worry, come in. You must be hungry. And so I decided to give free ramen to a mysterious woman named Kanade. To be honest, this place doesn't have the room for giving out free ramen, but... I knew I would regret it later on if I didn't take action. Hmm... Um... I really... Come on, come on. No, I... I told you, you don't have to worry. No, that's not what I meant. I want my ramen to be hard, with extra back fat and extra garlic, please! Well, someone got the nerve all of a sudden. I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. It smelled so good. <laughs> That's alright. I'll take care of you. Here you go. Eat up. Special ramen. Hard noodle with extra back fat and garlic. Ah, uh, I really don't have money though. Are you sure? It's fine. Haha. <laughs> Look who's talking. You're the one who put in extra orders. You're really, really sure about this? I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat it. That's enough. <laughs> Hurry up and eat. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's so good. What is this? It's too good. Oh, this. This is called ramen. Yeah, I know that, but... I'm happy you liked it. It's been a while cooking a ramen for someone. What? This ramen is good, right? Yes, it's delicious. I inherited this place from my parents who passed away, and it's a dear place for me, so... I've been desperate to keep this place going, and I kept polishing the taste. So I am confident about the taste, but... I'm really bad at business, so... The customers won't come in, and the business is coming to an end. I can't do anything about it, so I'm thinking about closing this place up. What? No! Your business is that bad and you still gave me for your ramen? Well, don't worry about that. What? And I mean, you can clearly tell you're the one who needs more help. Hmm. Alright, enough about me. What happened? Why are you looking like that and out this late? And you have a baby. Oh. To be honest, I ran away from home. With this baby. What? From the start, I married my husband because he approached me like crazy. But when I got pregnant, I stopped taking care of my appearance and... Then, he would say things like, You don't look hot anymore, or like, You don't deserve to be with me, and... He started giving me the cold shoulder all of a sudden. And on top of that, I don't really get along with my mother-in-law either, and... After I got married, I've been helping out the mother-in-law's restaurant. But when I got pregnant and couldn't help out the place a lot, she became cold too. Oh no. And what really did it for me was... That Kanade. After she got pregnant, her hair's always messy and she wears whatever. I can't look at her. I married her for her looks. It's meaningless now. 
I hear you. Ever since she got pregnant, she's been slacking off at the restaurant. She's so useless. What? I heard them talking trash about me, and I knew if I stayed there, my baby and I wouldn't be happy. And so I ran away from home. So that's what happened. Of course, I have no place to go, but any place is better than home. All right, why don't you live here then? Yeah, I should. Wait, what? What did you just say? I said, why don't you live here? What? You don't have anywhere else to go, right? Yeah, but... Yeah, the business is bad, but... I have inheritance from my parents. So I have enough to pay for you and the baby. But I'm... Um... So you can make yourself at home. Wait... She, she fell asleep. She really did make herself at home. She's a weirdo. And so I've decided to take care of Kanade and the baby in her stomach. I haven't made plans for the future, but, well, everything will turn out fine. I had no idea then that this woman who looks low-key but who actually got some nerve would change my life completely. Phew. I'll do my best as usual, like anyone's going to show up, but... Oh, good morning! What? Oh, good. good morning. What are you doing? What do you mean? I'm cleaning. Why? What do you mean, why? As a thank you. No, seriously, it's alright. If a crane can be grateful, I can be grateful too, you know? No, 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 that's not what I meant. You have to stay relaxed for the baby. Don't push yourself. What? You're a kind person, but you're always helping me out. Please, let me help you as much as I can. But... There's nothing you could help me with. This place is so empty. Don't tell me I just said that. Well, you are right. This place is dead. You don't have to be. Oh, I know. Huh? I came up with a good idea. Kanade, who wanted to thank me so bad, started taking pics of the ramen place and the ramen. Do this and... I see. And so she posted on SNS. If you do this... Okay. And then just like that, the post was filled with tons of comments and likes. This happens. What? What's all this? That's a lot of reactions. <laughs> I'm actually a little famous in the SNS world. What? You are? Kanade, are you an influencer? <laughs> yes, I am. And a few hours later... This is amazing, Kanade. Good job. I'm happy I could help you. Wah! I saw Kanade jump SNS and came here, but it really is good. I've never had a ramen this good before. I'm impressed. Well, I may be the trigger, but this popularity is not my power. It's the power of Altosan's ramen. Kanade. And Altosan, you're pretty popular too. What? He's a little scary, but I think he's hot. You're right. Oh my god. What? I'm hot? <laughs> uh, I guess you are. But you're not friendly, and that is why the customers go away. You got the look, so please smile. Customer service is an important part of the job, too. Uh, all right. I'll smile. Here. Yes, that's good. Good job! I did as Kanade told me and everything went well. I couldn't do anything on my own, but with Kanade's help, the problem was solved like that. A charismatic influencer on SNS was for me the god of business success. I hope Kanade would stay here forever. Welcome! And so when I was spacing out a little... I saw your SNS and came down here. Oh my! What a dirty place this is! <laughs> Kanade, could that be... Yes, that's my husband and my mother-in-law. The husband and the mother-in-law who put Kanade through hell showed up at my ramen place. Are you alright? Yes. I didn't know you had so many followers. That's the girl I fell in love with. You should have told.
told me about this. Stop posting about this poor place and advertise my restaurant. The customers are decreasing over there. Huh? Are they arguing? It doesn't look so good. Mm. I was irritated by the two for spitting out selfish comments. And Kanadi just kept her head down, but... She must be frustrated by those words. I couldn't take it anymore. Hey, you two, stop with the selfish comments. You didn't bother to take care of Kanade all this time, and... Now when you think you can use her, you change your attitude like that. You should seriously stop messing around. I'll do some. What? Who do you think you're talking to? We're talking about family right now. It has nothing to do with you. He's right, he's right. Keep your nose out of our family. Come on, Kanadesan. Let's go home. Huh? Hey, Kanade, say something. Hmm. Kanade? I can't cause any more trouble for you, Altosan. I'm going home. What? <laughs> See? Even she says so. Haha. <laughs> Come on, Kanade. Let's go home. Altosan, your ramen's the best. Thank you for helping me. I really, really appreciate all your help. It is true. Kanade and I just met yesterday. As her husband says, I'm no family, but... Wait! Huh? Why don't you be more honest with yourself? This is you and your baby's life we're talking here. You can let your feeling out to your followers, but... You can't say no or I'm not going home? Speak from your heart. Hey, that's enough! She's our bride! Who do you think you are? Shut up! What? No. What? I'm not going back home. What are you saying? I'm divorcing you. I want to stay here forever. What? I knew you had it in you. What are you saying? We're going home. No. That's enough. Stop it. You're the one who should stop. Hurry up and leave. Shut up. These people are crazy. Kanade-san's husband and mother-in-law have no morals. Oh my god. They seriously are horrible. I'm shocked. I'm going to post it on SNS. Oh, the mother-in-law's restaurant is. Oh really? I think I'm going to write about this in the review. What? This can't be happening. Stop it. Please. Ah. I'm going to make you pay for this. Phew, we got rid of them. Well done. Later on, Kanade and her husband got divorced. Bad news about the mother-in-law's restaurant traveled fast and they had no choice but to close the place. You cannot underestimate the power of SNS. Welcome! It's been a few months since that incident, but the place is still fully packed. The ramen's taste and my looks became so popular that we got interviewed by the TV. This is all thanks to Kanade. I saw you on TV the other day. You're hot in real person too, the ramen prince. Can you do that famous line for us? Oh that, sure of course. Ramen, Chinese style ramen, I'm hot man, here you are. Ah, I love it. I think I've heard this line before. <laughs> Giving the fans what they want was also Kanade's advice. And Kanade became... Hey. You're going a little too overboard. You're the one who advised me about giving the fans what they want. Well, yeah, but I'm getting a little jealous, you know? The advisor of this ramen place, and also my wife who I care deeply, 